Good afternoon, and welcome back to JT's Comics and Cards, where on this channel, all you're going to see is raw comic books and related comic material, and you'll see some more today. And Tyler's got another video coming up on uh, some baseball cards. You just open up a box, and you got some great cards out of it. He's going to edit, edit that film and put it on, hopefully, by next week. Again, it's Jeff's comics, JT's comics and cards. <clears throat> now, I, I grew up in the 60s and 70s. We'd set up in a convention where it was like the Ramada Inn or the Sheridan. There'd be like 30 or 40 of us set up there, dealers. And then we'd have, you know, of course, the uh, customers come in. There'd be some um, creators, there's some artists, and some writers there. We'd walk around, we'd look at the other people's comic books, and we'll, if they wanted to look at, say, Conan number one, I'd take it out of the bag, I'd show them what it looks like. Between the customer and myself, we'd look it over, check out the spline, the staples, if they're rusty, if it's white or off-white pages. We check it all out, and then we see if it's fine or very fine or near mint. We discuss the condition, and then we we'll talk about the price. And if the book sold, well, that would be great. And if it didn't sell, that's fine. I mean, you know, that's just the only thing you could do. Nowadays, I guess it was two thousand and one. CGC came out, and it's a third-party grading system. I know how to grade the comic books myself. I've been doing it for years. Well, you pay money to have a third party look at the book, and on every site I go on is unboxing CGC or CGC. And then they come back and, oh, it should be a 9.2, it got an 8.5. Well, then they take it out of the plastic, which you can only see the front and the back. So they take it out of the plastic, they press them, which I don't know anything about pressing because once you touch a comic book you're restoring it that's like me taking a colored pencil and coloring in the color in the front of the book to make it look better once you touch the book like that it's called restoring the comic book it should depreciate in value not add value to it i mean you're restoring the comic book it's you're touching it up i don't like that on my channel you're not going to see that um i wish you know, I got, I want to try to get 100 subscribers. I got like 25 now. I just started a few weeks ago. I want to get a lot more. I want to see, hear what you guys, your comments are to check out. You know, if you want to see, like I got Incredible Hulk number three, Avengers number one. I'm going to show you guys those books and I'm going to open them up and show you the off white to white pages. I like to start a new site or channel just on raw comic books because I can't find any on YouTube. So today I'm going to do comic related books, which is going to be magazines today. I'm going to show you some old magazines that came out. That's a Vampirella. That's a magazine, probably came out in the 70s, I believe. Uh, I don't know right now, but that's a Vampirella one. And here's the Conan, the Iron Man. These books you probably guys have never seen before. I can show you what these are. I can show you the back. I mean, if you want, message me. I'll, I'll open them up. I'll show you what they look like inside. But I have a lot of different magazines I can show you guys, too. I got thousands of comic books. And it's just Planet of the Apes. That's a magazine one. You can actually take that, open it up, look at the pages, and you can read them. You can do that. I don't get any of mine graded. Because I go to a show. I'm going to go to the Rhode Island Comic Con down in November, what, 4th, 5th, and 6th. I'm going to make a video on the show. I'm going to show you guys the CGC books all lined up in the back of this um, table. And all the people are going through a dollar, three dollar, and five dollar bins because that's all they can afford. I sold a Star Wars number one for $225, Rural Comic. $225. They get it graded. They're asking two to three thousand for it. I sold mine. People can't afford their rent, their mortgage, their food, and I, I just don't get it. Every site I see is CGC. Mine is Raw Comic Books, and um, hopefully you guys enjoying my site. Please tell your friends and subscribe to it. That's a nice Tarzan one. 
I don't think you guys have ever seen any of these. And here's, uh, I'm just going to show you a few. I got a lot more to show you. Here's Conan. All right. I'm just going to take the magazines away for now. And here's Frankenstein number one. That's a $225 comic book. And guess what? I can show you the back cover. I can open it up, show you what the front looks like. Front page. I can show you if it's off white to white pages, which is oh, it is off white to white pages. And that's what it looks like inside. The artist, when they draw a book, they don't, they don't expect their book to be in a plastic case. They want you to open it up. They want you to read it. They want you to look at it now. In 20 or 30 years from now, your kids or your grandkids can look at it. I mean, if the book's really valuable, sure, you can sell it and make some money. But I like the raw comic books because that's the way I like them. Here's another one. Conan the Barbarian number eight. That's a nice comic book. That's probably a couple hundred dollar comic book. And I'm not going to grade these. So I like to start a site with just raw comic books. Please tell your friends about it. I like to get, like I said, at least 100 subscribers to start with. I have a sister site, which is called JT's Landscaping, where I have a Bobcat E35 mini excavator. I show you how to operate it, how to dig up stumps. I show you how to remove beaver dams. That's a good. Uh, that's a good channel because people within two days, I got two thousand views on that. And I show you different, you know, how to excavate with it. And I also have a Gravely Brush Hog, which I hope you looked at my last video or down at the pond. And the Brush Hog was just destroying brush up to one inch thick. Check out that channel too. And uh, please subscribe to it. I got 355 subscribers. I like to hit a thousand pretty soon. It takes a while. But for now, that's this is JT's Comics and Cards. I hope you've um, been liking my channel here. Please give me some thumbs up. Write down some comments. Uh, maybe I can get quite a few more people who like raw comic books. I um, I got twenty to 30,000 of them to show you. Like I said, I got Incredible Hulk number three. My next video or my next couple, I'll show you that one. I got Avengers number one. I got Mad number one and number five. So please watch in my channel and um, hit that. No, uh, notification bell and please subscribe and until next time have a great day thank you